be covering a few tips and tricks on how to properly wash your wheels and tires. Now we were getting a few comments on our forum, chemicalizedforum.com, on how to properly clean wheels without scratching. There's a lot of tools and a lot of tips and a lot of techniques that people use to clean wheels. So I'm gonna go ahead and answer a few questions that a lot of our forum members were asking. Now wheels can easily scratch very easily. So I've actually brought my own personal car here that I let the wheels get dirty for over four weeks. So this is just over a month of dirty wheel driving daily uh, and it's extremely dirty. Now, believe it or not, these wheels are actually a bright silver finish and when they're clean, they look bright and brilliant. But these are very dark because they have a lot of brake dust and debris all over the wheel. Now, brake dust is very difficult to remove because it can actually scratch because it's abrasive. Brake dust has a lot of things inside the brake dust like uh, iron, it also has Kevlar, carbon, a lot of different materials inside the brake uh, pads that can actually turn into dust and stick on the outside of the wheel. Now when people go to remove these brake dust, they often don't use the proper cleaners or the right lubricants to make sure that the wheel does not scratch. Wheels can often times cost thousands of dollars and you don't want to scratch those wheels by using improper cleaning techniques or improper products. So I brought everything that I use to clean the wheels and show you guys how I like to do it without scratching the wheels. I'm also going to answer a lot of questions that you guys have been asking on our forum. So if you want to go check out these questions, check it out on our forum, chemicalguysforum.com. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean the wheel today using all my products that I like to use on my weekly wash. I brought these all out. I waited four weeks instead of a week to wash it so I could show you a dramatic difference between a real dirty wheel and what it looks like when it gets clean without scratching. Now the first thing I'm going to use is our products. And I'm going to talk about our products that we're going to use. And the first one is going to be our Chemical Guys Diablo Wheel Gel. Now Diablo Wheel Gel is a wheel gel designed for all types of wheels. It's gentle on the surface but strong on brake dust. It's a gel formula so it sticks on the wheel and breaks down the brake dust. I've already diluted this wheel cleaner four to one. You can also dilute it three to one if you want some extra cleaning power. I also topped it with our Chemical Guys Gray Sprayer. This is an upgraded sprayer and allows you to get a nice even spray pattern on the wheel. Now I also need to clean the tire too. I don't want to leave the tire and as you can see the tire is real dirty. It's extremely black. Just one touch makes it real black. So I'm going to use our Chemical Guys Nonsense. Nonsense is our odor-free and color-free super cleaner. It's great for cleaning uh, carpets and dirty seats, but it works great on tires and engine bays as well. I've already diluted this 10 to 1 to be aggressive on the dirt and the brake dust that's on my tire. So now we've got the products covered. Now I'm going to cover the accessories that I'm going to use to properly clean the wheel. Now to clean the face, I'm going to use one of our 4-in-1 uh, wash mitts. Now I'm going to use this to clean the face because I like to use a wash mitt instead of a brush to clean the face because I want to preserve the face and not uh, scratch or damage the surface. Now this one is a dual sided wash mitt so if you want to use one side for your body and one side for your wheels that's perfectly fine. It's actually listed right here body and wheel but I'm just going to use the whole thing on the wheel. I like to have a dedicated wheel wash mitt. If you have extra dirty tar or bugs on your wheels there's also these extra aggressive sides right here where you can use to scrub off any bugs or heavy debris. This is a great accessory, fits right on any hand, and it's going to allow me to get all the cracks and crevices on the face of the wheel. Now I don't want to forget the inside of the wheel because a real detailer gets deep inside the inside. And I'm going to use our brand new Concourse Detailing Brush. This thing is amazing. It's a dual black and red color has a scratch resistant tip so when I'm pushing it inside the wheel I'm not going to scratch or harm the inside of my barrel. It has an ergonomic grip with rubber and plastic so it's going to give for years of detailing use and it even has a splash guard and protective guard on the front so I can protect my hands from getting damaged if I'm cleaning sharp uh, wheels that have a lot of tight edges. What's cool about this wheel brush is that I can bend it so I can get inside all the cracks and crevices on the inside like my brake caliper and all the inside dirty parts. This is going to help me get the inside real clean. I'm also going to use one of our stiff bristle brushes to clean the tire. That's what I'm going to scrub the outside of the tire with. And I have a few microfiber towels that are actually going to help me clean the face of the wheel as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and use a bucket. And you're asking me what am I going to use a bucket for? My bucket is going to be for lubrication. The true trick to cleaning any wheel without scratching is to use proper lubrication. So I'm going to fill this bucket up with water and then I'm actually going to add one ounce of Mr. Pink. Now Mr. Pink isn't really here for its cleaning capabilities. It's going to be here for lubrication because wash soap provides great lubrication on the surface to allow my brushes to slide in and out very easily. Inside my bucket is also a grit guard. So that means any brake dust that gets pulled off the wheel goes down to the bottom and it's not going to be used. 
Some people may choose to use a two bucket method to clean wheels. I feel it's unnecessary in most cases because I'm only using the wash bucket with the soap for lubrication. I'm not really using it as my true cleaner. I'm gonna use Diablo to really clean the wheel. If you want, you can use a two bucket method. I'm gonna be using one today with a grit guard. I always choose to use two buckets on paintwork, but wheels this is only gonna be for lubrication to keep my brushes wet. Now I'm gonna go grab my hose and fill up my bucket and then we're gonna get started cleaning this wheel. So I got my bucket filled up and now we're gonna go ahead and start the wheel process. So let's go ahead and first prepare, prepare our tools. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Mr. Pink, I'm gonna pop it open, and I'm gonna go ahead and add about one or two ounces to my wash bucket. I only need a little bit because I'm not really using this to wash the wheel, I'm only using this as lubrication. So now I'm gonna take my hose and I'm actually gonna create those suds. There we go. So I got my suds all sudded up and I'm ready to start the washing. Now I'm gonna take all my tools and I'm gonna throw them inside my bucket. So I'm gonna take my concourse detailing brush, I'm gonna take my wash mitt, I'm gonna take, uh, I can take my brush if I really wanted to. I also brought a goat brush outside as well to get the, uh, to get the lug nut holes or any tight spots around the wheel. I'm gonna put that in there as well. Okay, so now let's start the wheel. Now I'm gonna do what's called a dry clean. Uh, a lot of people like to wet the surface first, but I'm gonna do this straight dry to show you guys uh, the lubrication power of the Diablo and the Mr. Pink as well. So let's first go ahead and spray the wheel. My sprayer is primed, I'm gonna go ahead and start spraying the wheel. Now, Diablo wheel gel is a gel, so you notice it grabs right onto the wheel, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and spray it on a nice spray pattern over the wheel. When you spray Diablo, you spray and just move over the wheel just like this, because you wanna completely coat the wheel with the Diablo, and it's gonna start breaking down the brake dust. It actually grabs a hold of the wheel, breaks down the brake dust. You can spray it on all brake parts, brake rotors, brake calipers, uh, inside the barrel. That's what I really wanna do, is spray it deep inside the barrel. Now Diablo comes concentrated, so one bottle makes four to five bottles. Now, this wheel is really dirty, so I'm using a little bit more Diablo because I want to get a nice coating. There we go. Got a nice coating. Okay, so now my Diablo is all over the wheel, and you can see it's sticking right on there. So first, let's start and clean the inside first, okay? So I'm going to take my concourse detailing brush. It's already lubed up with soap, and I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning the inside of the wheel. Now the concourse detailing brush is a gentle cleaning brush. It doesn't harm the surface. It's actually an extra soft bristles. So they're aggressive enough to clean off brake dust, but they're gentle enough to not scratch the surface. I'm taking my time because I don't want to scratch any part of the wheel or harm it as well. You can see, notice how deep the concourse detailing brush can get right inside the wheel to clean deep inside the barrel. That's why I like it. Plus that non that uh, non scratch tip isn't going to hurt my brake rotor, my caliper, or anything like that. I can actually bend it a little bit. There we go, so I can get in this area. And you can see the suds are just dark, and look how black my wheel brush is getting. So I'm going to go ahead and clean my wheel brush now. I'm going to take it, stick it in my uh, rinse bucket. I guess it is only to rinse my brushes off. There we go. Now I can start cleaning again. Now the Concourse detailing brush is great for this. It's great for all wheels. So if you have like custom BBS wheels, this is an easy to clean five spoke design. That's honestly why I have them on the car because they're super easy to clean. But if you have a more complex wheel, you can easily go ahead and get that in there as well. Now what's also cool about this detailing brush is that all the guards and the handle are actually uh, flexible rubber or plastic, so it's actually not gonna scratch my wheel if I actually happen to touch it on the wheel face. Maybe I wanna get this last part back here. And up at the top. I think I got all the inside really clean. It's looking great. And you can see this, just all of the nasty brake dust being pulled off the wheel. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my wheel brush, put it back inside my bucket, rinse it off, and I'm gonna let it hang out in there for a little while. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my wash mitt. Now my wash mitt's already all primed up with soap. 
and that's only for the lubrication because this thing is really dirty anyways. So I'm gonna go and take my uh, wash mitt, now I'm gonna clean the face. Now I use the wash mitt to clean the face because that's just my personal preference. Look how easy I can clean it. I like to use my thumb to go ahead and go along the lip, as you can see, and I like to have my uh, middle finger and my index finger in there to grip around all the spokes. That's why I really like using a, a wash mitt for my face and my wheel. It's all personal preference. At Chemical Guys, we manufacture many different tools to get any job done. So if you have a personal preference, if you like using a brush on your wheel, uh, you can go ahead and use that as well. Uh, if you like using a pressure washer, I like using a pressure washer a lot. There's a lot of different methods to go ahead and clean the face of your wheel. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my uh, wash bucket, rinse it off a little bit, get a nice uh, clean wash mitt, there we go. And I'm only using this for lubrication because I wanna remove all the brake dust off after it's been broken down with the Diablo. And I wanna go ahead and make sure that my wash mitt has lubrication to glide over the surface. Okay, I can also get right back here with the wash mitt too. That's why I like the wash mitt. If there's any spots I miss with a brush, or if I wanna clean the brake caliper without scratching it, that's the best thing to use is the wash mitt. Look how easy, even with my whole hand and the wash mitt, I can shove deep inside there and the wash mitt contours. Look at all that brake dust I'm pulling off. Dirty, dirty brake dust. Okay, so now my face is really clean. Now I'm gonna go ahead and reach into my bucket, try to find my goat brush. Here's my goat brush. The brand new goat brush, actually wooden. We've upgraded it to a wood model. So it's a lot more durable than a plastic and it's gonna have feel really good in the hand. That's why I really like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean my lug nut holes right there. I've already got the Diablo in there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean it a little bit. Get the inside of those lug nut holes really clean, fresh again. It's important to clean all the cracks in small areas like this. If you need to add a little bit more Diablo, go ahead. Sometimes it's good just to add a little bit more to make sure you break down all the hard to reach places. I mean, I usually do not go a month without cleaning my wheels, but I wanted to do this just for you guys uh, to see on the tape because that's what this channel is all about. It's all about learning how to detail, learning the right tricks, showing before and afters, uh, just enjoying detailing, having fun, getting the proper results, okay? Look how the goat brush just goes right in there. It cleans the lug nut, it gets it real clean. That's why I love this. Now that I got the whole face, also don't wanna forget this area right here. A lot of people don't clean the area around the valve stem and that actually gets built up brake dust that actually starts eating away at the wheel. So make sure you get that nice and clean. Also, if you have any corners that need to be clean or if you wanna clean the brake caliper, go ahead and do that as well. There we go. Okay, so last part I gotta do right now is I gotta clean the wheel, the tire. Okay, of the wheel. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my nonsense. I'm gonna prime it up. There we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and spray the wheel. It's a little bit windy today. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my stiff bristle brush. It's a stiff blue bristle brush. It's not for the wheel, it's actually for the tire. So I'm gonna go ahead and scrub the tire with my stiff bristle brush. There's actually a brand new bristle brush from our showroom. It's really stiff, great for cleaning. It's also plastic, so if I accidentally hit my fender or my bumper, it's not gonna harm it. So now my wheel is clean. Now I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it off to show you the result. When I'm done with this, I actually like to take my wheel brush, it's dirty, and I actually like to put it in the wash bucket. Okay, I like to keep all my tools together. Now I'm gonna grab my hose with a fireman nozzle, and I'm gonna go ahead and start rinsing off my wheel. I'm also gonna get the tire as well. Okay. There we go. Now, I'm gonna use a few microfiber towels to dry off the finish. These are our workhorse towels, green. These are my favorite for working on wheels, paintwork, and I'm gonna dry off the wheel, okay? You always wanna spend time to dry the wheel. And remember how I told you at the beginning of the video that 
These wheels are a bright silver finish when they're clean. And I mean, look at that. It doesn't even look the same. I'm gonna show you a before and after picture at the end of the video to make sure that you really see the difference, okay? There we go. Now when I dry, I usually have to concentrate on the face or the lug nut holes, any area where water accumulates and get it done. A lot of people actually don't dry their wheels and then they end up getting dirty real fast, but that's because it had residual water residue on the face of the wheel. We want to get it all off, make sure it looks fresh, clean, awesome again. Here we go. Okay. I brought a few microfiber towels out here because I like to make sure that I change up my microfiber towel a lot and really keep it looking great. I'm also going to dry my brake caliper as well. I want to keep that looking great. And I'm going to go as far as I can on the inside of the barrel. Now, I don't need to go ahead and dry all of the barrel. If you're doing a show car or you're concentrating more on super detailing for concourse events, go deep in there. Take your, take your wheel uh, um, towel, get deep in there, dry it. For me, this car is going to be driven right after we do this. Right after we do this, I'm going to drive the 100 mile drive home. Uh, back to my home, a little bit far from the chemical guy's warehouse, but that 100 miles, my wheels is gonna get dirty again, but I still wanna make sure that it's clean and it stays clean, especially on the outside. Now this vehicle has a, what's called a carbon Kevlar brake pad. So the brake dust is just ridiculous. I, it gets very annoying at times, but if you have the right products, the, uh, the right cleaners, the right brushes, I mean, all the right tools make the job get done so easily. Okay, I'm gonna try the center cap. Try a little bit over here. And there we go, that really does look great. Now look at the finish, it has no brake dust on there, it's super slick, and we didn't scratch the surface, it still has that gloss, there's no scratches, no dull finish. This is how the wheel is supposed to look, clean, original, even inside the barrel, it's clean without any dust. I'll stick my hand deep inside the barrel so you can see no dust, it's really clean, and it's ready just to go on a nice drive. Now the wheel's smooth, it's scratch free, and it has that bright gloss finish, and it's a bright silver. And I'm gonna show you the before and after pics right now, just to show you how the products work. Here's the before, a dirty, black, nasty wheel, and you can see the brake dust is all covered over the wheel, and it looks completely black. And now here's the after with a bright, beautiful silver finish, no brake dust, and it looks original. That's the power of Diablo. The right brushes, the right tools, the right accessories makes detailing easier, faster, and you get better results every time. I hope this video gave you some help on how to properly clean your wheels. So if you have custom wheels out there, I know a lot of people invest a lot of time and a lot of money into their wheels, so make sure that you keep them looking good, have the right tools, the right buckets, the right wheel cleaners, all the stuff really helps the job get done. If you want to learn more about detailing, remember to check out our Chemical Guys Forum at chemicalguysforum.com. If you want to learn more about our Diablo wheel gel, our nonsense cleaners, all of our concourse brushes, every accessory that we use in this video, hop over to our website, chemicalguys.com, for the world's highest quality detailing products. But always remember to have fun, stay clean, and keep on detailing. <laughs>